Rupert Sidney Springer died less than four weeks shy of his 108th birthday. His daughter, Major Colleen Springer, says she was not surprised by his long life. He did a lot of hard work. He ate a lot of ground food, but, and he cared himself. He was always very active. From one activity to another, he was, he was never a lazy man. Never a lazy man. So I knew that he had long life in him. As family and other well-wishers gathered in the chapel of Anderson Funeral Home for a viewing, they recalled some of the many jobs Mr. Springer held as he sought to support his wife and eight children, four boys and four girls. No stranger to hard work, his son Clayton recalls Mr. Springer working as a rock blaster, well digger, agricultural worker and even a freighter in his younger days. He, in his younger days, would have helped build Seville Airport, walking from St. Lucie to St. to Christ Church on um, Sunday evening, so as to arrive in time for work on Monday morning and come back down on weekends. He worked all over the island. He walked quite a distance. That speaks to the hard work that he did, because he was consuming for desire to support his family on his own. Mr. Springer was also a devout Christian and a strict disciplinarian who sought to instill values in younger generations. I can remember very well when there was a, a, dis, a disagreement between this particular sister and myself. If there were lashes, he would share the lashes. Then he would say, y'all need to kiss and make up in front of me. And then he would give a cup of water for us to drink. That had to settle it because we couldn't carry our disagreements any further than at that particular point. Following a funeral service at the Mount Summit New Testament Church of God, Rupert Sidney Springer was laid to rest at the Mount Pleasant Memorial Gardens. Sharika Griffith, CBC News.